Um, but first, just because it's a Wednesday night doesn't mean it has to feel like a Wednesday night. It's going to feel like at least a Thursday, possibly a Friday, maybe a Saturday. We'll see what happens. through that crazy flight situation. Was anybody at that show? Yeah. Was I in that flight situation? Did I like talk to you about what had just like happened to me at that time or no? Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just seeing if I should tell the story again. Because it was, it was a good, it was like a situation where, I'm going to tell you this super abridged version because Shady's here with me tonight and uh, it's been with me every time I play Start the Day Early. I can't help but think of this song because... You know, basically, when you sign up for being a musician, you think that you're going to be able to wake up much, much later than you actually do, you know? So basically, we get back to the hotel. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning, and we have a 5.45 a.m. flight to get to that show. And uh, so we looked at each other, and we said, all right, how about we set our alarms for 3.10, and that'll give us 70 good minutes of sleep. So we, we're like, okay. So we set our alarms for 3.10, and the next thing I know... I wake up and he's standing over me. He hasn't actually woken me up yet, but you know, you have that feeling when someone's standing over you, you just wake up even if you've only been asleep for a few hours. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, it's 5 a.m., man. I'm like, uh-oh, all right. So now our flight is in 45 minutes and we have to get to the airport and return a rental car and we're 10 minutes away. So what goes through my head is like, do we really want to get stressed about this? Because it seems like there's no real chance we're going to make it. So what if we just chose to not get anxious about this? And we just were like, you know, let's just miss that flight and we'll probably miss that show. And that's what we'll do. Like, And he looked at me like we were in the movie Braveheart. And he's like, never give up, man. Never give up. All right. So I get out of bed, we go there, we get to the rental car place, of course the guy can't get the receipt to print, we're like, we don't care, and that's upsetting to him, he's like, wait, just just wait one second, I just, and we're like, we have to go, but we're carrying like 150 pounds of merchandise and gear and stuff on our backs, and my pants are falling down, and I'm feeling, I've been eating jalapeno pizza, not like four hours prior, and it's occurring to me that there's a very real chance that I might throw up in the Austin airport, just like, and I'm weighing it out, kind of like as you do when you start feeling nauseous and you're in a public place. I'm like looking at like, okay, I could get to that trash can. I could take that kid's hat. Like, I think I'm just, if I have to get sick, it's going to be embarrassing, but my family will love me and it's okay. It'll make a good story. So this is what's going through my head. 
as we walk up to the Delta desk, and it's like 5.31, so the flight's in 14 minutes, and we're walking up, and I have several bags to check. And so I could see that my tour manager, Shady, was very edgy about the whole thing, and, and it, that whole United Air thing had just happened. So I was like, you know what, dude? Let me do the talking, okay? Because you look edgy. And he's like, fine, all right. So we get up there, and I said, hi, we're in the process of missing our flight. He said, well, where are you going? And we told him, and then um, he said, okay, how many bags do you have? And I'm like all casual. I'm like, oh, are we doing this? And he's like, we're losing time, man. Come on. And I'm like, okay, all right. So I put my stuff on the bag, on the, on the scale, and they, they accept it. And it's like, and, and, and then... Shady had been telling me the whole tour, like, you really got to get TSA pre-checked. You really got to, because it's, you know, we need it. So, in my experience, I had, because in my experience, it's pretty much the line's like the same. I'm, not, I'm just not a big believer. But, in this instance, he was correct. It would have been a good move. Because he, like, scoots right through. And I get behind this nice couple that just seem like they don't travel a lot, you know? They seem like they were very like, oh, we have to take off our shoes, why? Like, and it's like, when's the last time you guys took a trip? Good Lord. So, you know, and, they, and then they're like buddying up with the TSA people, you know, as you do when you've been like scolded and something like that, like, uh, ma'am, you can't have water and everything. And they're like, oh, is that right? Wow, well, gosh, okay, yeah, how come? And then I'm like, so he's freaking out on the other side of security because we are missing a flight that we're already due to miss. And bottom line is, we didn't miss the flight. I made it through and I got to the woman and we were much later than the flight was supposed to take off. And then she's all, oh, there you are. Like it was my own private jet. And that was just a happy story about starting a day or less. And that's the abridged version of the story. I'm gonna start the day early Maybe like a baby at birth And now I'm gonna give you a present With brown eyes and beautiful words That's right Baby, you bring the cup and I'll bring the moonshine I wanna fill you up, babe, won't you be mine? Yeah.